Hey, saints, I just want to document how desperate Satan and his minions are. Um, the last motel that I was at, um, they turned on the fire alarm, a fire alarm at a huge hotel. And this one, uh, now the power has gone out. And I Googled the city, thinking it's maybe throughout the city. It's only, this is the map of the city, okay? See the red? It's only that tiny little section, you guessed it, where I'm at. So now I'll just document all the witches and Satanists that have taken over this building are all outside talking. Come on, shall we? So I don't know if y'all can see, that's the palm tree. This is outside. And this is part of the game stopping that. Let's go down here. Literally shut down the whole building because they got an empowered individual. So you see the street? There's a street light on there, but just not this hotel. All for me because I believe in Jesus. That's what a threat I have to Satan's kingdom. That's what you. Because you're one of God's elect. So, you know, I just want you to see. The property has no lights on the entire property. Yet the street lights are on behind. So, who knows what they're up to? I'm going to try to come kick the door in. I don't have any fear. No, I'm ready to go home, y'all. I'm so tired of it. So much crap. On a daily basis. Crizap. Anyway, um, I since I'm on here, I wasn't going to to talk about this. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to upload tonight since the power is off. I can't get back online. But um, I woke up this morning with Lake Mead. Lake Mead was in my spirit. And then I also think I saw this was written like I saw a paper written, Lake Mead. And under it, it said Lake Placid. Um, but the second part, I can't be sure. I don't know if I just thought that when I woke up, but I definitely saw Lake Mead. Then I finally, finally got out today. Uh, still not filling up to par of the, um, the ozone. There's an ozone warning here, and uh, it says... Um, it's not good air to breathe. And um, those that are sensitive, well, because I just had that heat stroke where I fainted last week, um, I need to be careful. But I had to go across town to run an errand. So I finally got me another notebook, not even noticing it. It was the cheapest notebook they had. What does it say on it? Mead. There is something with this. And then the Lord said, Mead lead. We are leaders in this end time. Um, we are God's elect on the front lines battling Lucifer. And if y'all knew the extreme they go to, Satan and his minions, to harass and keep me off track, every day is spent fixing a problem or replacing something they stole. Or like right now, now I now I can't get online and um, just, it's just crazy. Anyway, they're all uh, standing outside now on guard. It's a whole group of them. Um, the Lord showed me yesterday that some high level Satanists have now moved in because I've made it here for four days now. Um, usually they really start major attacks within a week. So I made it four days before this started. Today's the fifth day. So they literally have completely shut off the power to this whole, whole hotel. There's about 400 rooms here, okay? And the last hotel had about 300 rooms. No, I take that back, because it had like eight, eight stories. So it probably had about 1,000 rooms um, at the last hotel, which was, uh, I mean, not the last one, the one before that, the last one. I've moved seven times in three weeks because of all the gang stalking harassment. Um, the last hotel, 
they wouldn't allow me to sleep. They had fake fights outside. They even went so far as to break a glass outside my door and then leave the glass only in my door, not nowhere else in the whole building and just kept me awake the whole time. But the one before that, so it would have been about a week and a half to two weeks ago, um, they turned on the fire alarm and everybody had to leave the building and there was no fire. This is the extent that Lucifer, the lion loser, goes to for some of us. So again, I'm just documenting it. That y'all saw the street light, which is directly at the back of the property, yet the whole property has no electricity. No soup for you. So anyway, just again, giving y'all a heads up on Lake Mead. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if there's going to be ca a catastrophe, but because right after that, within a couple hours of that, I bought this notebook, not even looking at it until I went up to pay for it. And I'm like, what? Mead. Okay. My other notebooks don't say that. This is, this was, you know, they're all, uh, you know, just like those regular notebooks. I can't remember what they say, to be honest, y'all. I'm wiped out. But um, the Lord is really speaking here. Uh, there are going to be blackouts. Uh, there's going to be the three days of darkness are coming. Um, there, there's going to be invasions. Uh, you're going to see ships. Some of them do not be fooled. Okay, if they say alien invasion, those are demons. Those are fallen. The fallen angels at the top, which some of them are attacking some of us. Um, Azazel has been on my ASS for quite a while. I know Brother Ken, you get Azazel too. Sister Karen also. Um, but there's also going to be good ships. And I know this sounds bizarre, but I've seen them. Me and Brian from Servants Research Ministry, which um, we lost contact probably about a year and a half ago. But I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and he was in Louisiana, and we both saw these ships at the same time. We both got pictures of them. We sent them to each other on our phone. They looked almost identical. We sent videos and, and pictures. I had a video about it, which you can still find. This would have been at maybe 20, I'm going to say 2019, maybe, um, where you can... I might even go back and try to find it, but um, I'm just trying to get this out before my electronic device dies because who knows when they'll turn it back on. And again, y'all saw the map. The map, it, it, this is the whole city. The whole city. See how big? And the only red, only red in the entire city is right there, that tiny little bit. That's where I'm at. Just happens to be where I'm at. And it wouldn't be so weird if this only happened every once in a while. They do this stuff to me constantly. Like I said, the fire alarm at the other place and there was no fire. And this was a decent motel. Not the one, not the last one. That was a total dump. Oh my gosh, it was awful. But the one before that, I was only at for like four days. Um, yeah, and I, I couldn't believe it. And there was witches that came out of each room staring at me, um, trying to lure is what they're doing. They're trying to lure us out. They're trying to flush us out. I told you empowered individuals, targeted, empowered, persecuted, elect individuals are being hunted. I know y'all that aren't targeted probably think, oh, that's just a, that's just um, a power outage. This happens to me in many places I go. Only in the little tiny area within a block or two of where I'm at. It's not. It's not a coincidence. It is Satan and his minions trying to take out God's elect, which is us, Team Jesus. So again, um, just just know, just be aware that the movie Hunger Games is real. It, it is real. And they even show Katniss shooting an arrow and and uh, busting open the the dome, the Thunder Dome. We're about to go home, y'all. 
But getting back to the ships, there's also going to be good ships, which are going to have God's angels on them. And I saw them several times. I got the video of it uh, where Brother Brian from Servants Research Ministry also did on the same night. And I posted it a couple years ago. And it looked like different glowing lights spinning. It was spinning. And the Lord said, those are chariots of fire. And remember, I said, there is a fire coming on the earth. Fire, fire, fire in the hole. I've been being told. I've been being told for years and years, fire in the hole. I've been saying that for about 15 years, for real. But um, it's, it's multiple meanings. The Lord thinks of things that we couldn't come up with. He's amazing. He thinks of all different meanings. I've got a lot of revelation today, but I, I can't read it right now because the lights are out. <laughs> I mean, if I really wanted to, I could use, I could lean up on this and read it by the light of the laptop. But I don't feel like showing my face. I was already in my sleeping clothes, my bed clothes, <laughs> bed clothes. And that's funny. And uh, it is documenting the time the lights. I don't know what time they went out. They've been out like, I don't know, 15 minutes? Nine. Let's see. Nine, 24, June 16, 2020. Let me do that again just so y'all can see. June 16, 2020. So I don't know what they're plotting and planning. Um, yeah. But we are being hunted. If you're one of the true 144K, you are being hunted. So it's fun times at the Circle K. Again, I, I have a lot more to say, but I was actually hoping I could go to sleep early, but it's already getting hot in here. It's, it's about 90-something degrees at 9 o'clock at night, which is also not normal. Again, let me document this one more time so y'all can see. I'm sure they're probably standing outside the door. Hopefully you can see my room. So this is me leaving. This is all the lights out. That's the room, okay? This is the fire alarm. They position me in this room next to the fire alarm and one palm tree. The entire place has no lights. But let's come down here again. There's one of the bad blocks right now. Another one. But you see that there's lights on the street light. See? So anyway, it's one of the games. There's the main part. Not of which I can see that now. Um, there's the moon. Hopefully y'all can see that. So anyway, it's a new adventure. Okay, y'all. Uh, again, just documenting that the lights really are out, and only in this one little area, as usual. Tricks are for kids, silly gang stalkers. Satan is really P.O.S. He's trying anything he can. So just stand your ground. I'm not scared in the least. I cannot wait to be lifted out of this matrix. But again, the chariots of fire are coming. So there's going to be there's going to be fire on the earth because the Lord said he would never again destroy the earth by flood. So it's going to be fire. Well, you know what, y'all? Since I'm already talking about this, let me just go ahead and I'll use my I use the flashlight on my phone to read y'all a few things since I'm already on here. I guess the Lord wanted this out because I wouldn't have put this out without it. I just find it amazing. It's the power is only out in this one little area. Ha! 
And then it says under, we power life. Isn't that funny, like mocking? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. I just got this phone, so I don't even know how to do the flashlight. There's no storm. There's no, no bad weather, nothing. It's the enemy. I'm telling y'all. Uh, let's see. Flashlight. I found it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and roll on with this. Okay, so today is June 16th, 2021. And the Lord said today as I was, I was going to make, I had to go make groceries and which now I have a tiny mini fridge. I'll just show y'all. It's this little mini fridge right here. I don't even know what y'all can see. I know y'all know what a mini fridge looks like. It's the first time I've had a refrigerator in about three weeks. So what day do they choose to um, to turn the electric off? Right after I go to the grocery. Oh, well. No soup for you. I didn't buy that much, so it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I was going down to get groceries. And I, again, am being completely surrounded without ceasing by m millions of gang stalkers okay satan's minions and a lot of them are totally zombie like and i started looking at them now it's it's getting really weird it's like the anger doesn't even rise up in me anymore because i'm getting so used to su such attacks that the anger I, I don't have anger anymore it's more like here we go again here we go again. Here we go again. Another one, another one, another one. Lord, are there any that aren't part of this satanic hive mind? And unfortunately, <laughs> my answer wasn't very happy. The answer I got was, you are the remnant. You are here to take note and be a witness. What are the two witnesses? The two witnesses I always thought were two men. It still could be. But what I'm starting to feel in my spirit, and I haven't got confirmation on this, man, I don't even, I just realized I don't even know if y'all can hear me because this laptop, hopefully y'all heard some of that. What are the two witnesses? The two witnesses are us as believers in Christ and the witness of the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. Man, I, I don't know if I should stop this or not. I don't know if y'all heard any of what I was saying. Okay, so I'll make it real quick then, and then I'll, I'll come back on later if this actually picked up. I forgot I've got a really crappy laptop. Anyway, the Lord said to take note. Do not react, but take note of each gang stalker and look at them. Look at their faces. Normally, I try to just not even look at them because I get sick of it um, and ignore them. But the Lord is saying that each person that I gaze on is being recorded as if we were taking a picture. And it was like, wow, that's why I've always been able to remember faces. I've always been really good with faces, but not names. Now, Father is showing me why, because we have a what? Photographic memory. We are When we look at these stalkers, they are being recorded in God's book of judgment. So that we are witnessing who is participating in these evil acts. It was amazing. And each time I did that and focused on them, each one of them looked away. None of them would look at me, even when I was smiling. So something's up with that. But it's amazing that the Lord just now said photographic memory. Okay. Um, then, like I said, I woke up with the words Lake Mead in my head and possibly I also saw written down Lake Placid. Um, and then the Lord said, lead, mead, lead, lead the troops, the 144K. Then I opened to Luke 9, 1, and he called the 12 disciples, sent to preach, heal the sick, take nothing for your trip, no bags, only one, only one tunic, 
Um, and I'm not going to try to read that because this Bible that was in this room, because I told you all they stole my other Bible, has such little writing, there's no way I can read this with a flashlight. But it was Luke 9.1, okay? Then I was led to Isaiah 41 through 10. Comfort my people. We're to be comforters, not accusers. We're to, we're to love, we're to lift up, we're to comfort. We're also to warn, which I just went outside when they were all outside when the power first went off, which has been like 20 minutes now. And they're saying, what are we going to do? We're not going to be able to hear the end of who won. And I think they said Philadelphia, which is funny. Sis Karen, how funny. And I'm not in Philly. Um, I guess there's a game on tonight. I don't know. I don't watch TV. But um, I said, you need to repent and turn to Jesus. Real calm. I wasn't mad. I said, matter of factly, you need to repent and turn to Jesus. Yehushua HaMashiach is coming back soon. And I shut the door quietly. That's what we're called to do. Comfort my people. Their iniquity has been pardoned. That means you, believers in Christ. We are the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Um, then the Lord reminded me of my rapture dream. Okay, I had my wallet in the room when I went out to make that. Even though I just walked like three doors down. Funny, three doors down, an old favorite band. To show y'all that the street lights are still on. Probably only this hotel that's out, seriously. But um, I had the door cracked open, so. It only takes these stalkers a second to come and steal. Anyway, we are the one crying out, or the voice crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight. In the desert highway of our God. And then Father reminded me of the rapture dream on 6-5. So this was like a week and a half ago. Um, where I was being raptured up in a white van down by the river. And I was going over a some type of water. It was a big waterway and it looked like the Golden Gate Bridge. I was aware that it was a highway below. And the highway's number was 53. And it's funny because the scripture says, prepare in the desert a highway for our God. Every mountain will be brought, brought low is part of the scripture. I'm not reading all of it, just like the main part. Okay, then I was led to Isaiah 40, 10. There's a 40 again. Yesterday when I got the word of knowledge, it was at 440. And he stopped, Father stopped talking at 444, almost 445. Okay, 40, 10. To 11, the Lord shall come with a strong hand. He will feed his flock. He will gather the lambs. Okay. I didn't say that exa exactly. I just wrote down when I do, you know, when I write down what I want to tell y'all, I'll just write down like reminders of what the scripture is. And then I usually read it. But because there's no light in here, except my little phone flashlight, just if y'all want, go read it. It'll be encouraging to you. Okay. It is Isaiah, again, 40, 10, and 11. Again, the Lord is about to come with a strong hand. He's going to feed us, his flock, true father, followers of Jesus Christ, and he will gather the lambs. Okay, also I was made aware of the Nephilim. The Nephilim are awaking. Um, I've been warning y'all of that, that when it says in the Bible, fall on us rocks and hide us from the wrath of the one that sits on the throne. Those are the wicked, the rulers, the, the Biden times and the Obama nation of desolation and all them, the Hillary's, um, all workers of iniquity, even the lower level ones, even the sellout cops and military and corrupt government officials, even down to the, the lower level businessmen that have sold their soul and women that have sold their soul to Satan and the witches and the Satanists and the voodoo practitioners that continue to do wickedly, even after we've warned them. The Lord is telling me to warn them once now. Used to, I'd go into these long speeches in places I stayed where I'm under attack constantly. Now the Lord's saying one warning, that's it. Time is up. Time is what? Done, son. Um, they are calling, they're going to be calling for the rocks to hide them. And I asked this 
I got this revelation months ago. Why would they tell the rocks? Rocks can't hear. Yeah, they can because they're Nephilim. They're giants that are hidden that were encased in the rocks. They were imprisoned in the rocks for this time. They're coming back. They're, they're here. I did not know this until today, y'all. This is amazing. And I've been speaking about the fallen in Nephilim for years, since before I was on YouTube. I'm going to say I was aware of them all my life about uh, demons and fallen. But over the last five years is when I realized that they're here and they're attacking some of, of God's elect. Okay. Nephilim giants is from the Hebrew. He, bleh, that's all folks. Hebrew word, Nephal. N-A-P-H-A-L. I just found this out today, which means to fall. They are the fallen. Yes, there's fallen that are here that are, um, you know, the workers of iniquity at the top. You know, a lot of the free, freak masons and them, they're, some of them are um, either fallen or they are getting their orders from the fallen as well as our military, our law enforcement, our government, all of that. CIA, FBI, DOD, gumbo soup is what I call them. They are getting their orders from fallen angels. Some don't know, and they could possibly be saved. But I believe nine out of ten of them know. They are completely aware of what they're doing, and now we are here to witness and record their deeds, their work, their working of iniquity, and now their faces. How Satan uses electronics to take pictures of faces, the Lord doesn't have to do that. Our Father, who art in heaven, uses us. We're the witnesses, y'all. Hello, surprise, we are the two witnesses. Two witnesses, meaning us, each of God's elect that's here, battling fallen and wicked, wicked demons and witches and all that, and the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. We're the witnesses. So what Father told me today, today is the first day this ever happened, and now the lights have gone out, and I find that pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> it actually is kind of funny. The Lord warned me of that today. To look, take note of each worker of iniquity. Each stalker that you have, true, targeted, empowered individuals, this is for you. Ask the Lord, though. Don't do it because I say it. Ask the Lord if what I'm speaking is true. And if he tells you to do so, do it. Because up until today, I try to ignore them. Very rarely do I ever look at my stalkers, my persecutors, the bumbling buffoons, satanic clown posse, until today. And Father said, take note of each one of their faces. While I was in the grocery, I did it. Um, they, they tried to block me. They tried to run, run me over with a cart. Um, a cop jumped out in front of me on the street. Another cop followed me. I'm on foot, by the way. Um, I had two fire people follow me. A fireman came into the grocery and blocked my lane. I mean, when I tell y'all, uh, I just mentioned a few of the attacks. That's, that's like this much of what goes on on a daily basis. Very, very seldom do I go into detail about anything because it, it would take too long. It, it's wasteful. It's, we're, we're putting our focus too much on what Satan's doing. However, I'm not letting it uh, consume me or upset me. I'm going on with my day. And now I'm able to take note of what these workers of iniquity are doing and make, you can't really make eye contact with you, with them because they won't look at us. They look away, but make sure you take note of their face, even if it's just for a second, because their faces are being recorded in the book of judgment. That has been opened and they're going to stand before the most high God and we are going to be witnesses to what they've done before they're cast into the lake of fire, which is being open. But there's also our angels, team Jesus, good angels that, like I said the other night, they're battling in the spiritual realm right above our heads. So Michael and his angels are battling Lucifer, the lion loser and his demons, his wicked demons right over our head. Some of us can feel this. If you wake up and you're like really tense or, or like you just walk outside and all of a sudden you feel like a burst of anger, that is what you're feeling in the spiritual realm and then all the fiery darts being thrown at us. Because if you're truly 
one of the 144k, you're an empath. So we pick up on, on the spiritual realm. Um, okay. So the, the fallen that are actually encased in the rocks are being awoken. But isn't that amazing, y'all? I never knew that until today. That what the Nephilim, how they got their name. It's the Hebrew root for root, root, <laughs> the Hebrew word for nafal, which means to fall, the fallen. All right. Also, I was given Matthew 24, 37 through 39. As in the days of Noah, they will be eating and drinking until the flood came. Okay. And that's what they're doing. Um, I saw, I've only got to watch a handful of videos. I've just been really really seeking the Lord. He's been showing me a lot of things today. Um, but, and plus I had to run some errands in the heat, which takes double as long because I got to go slow now because of my heat stroke that I had. But, um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, something popped up and I didn't watch it, but the title of it was something about people are spending more than ever. Okay. There's somebody with a flashlight outside. I find that funny someone would be in a hotel. Well, maybe it's a phone flashlight. Okay, ignore. Um, people are spending more on restaurants. I'm sure bars. I, I didn't see that listed, but it said something about people are spending more on dining out. That's what it said. Dining out and travel and something else. I think it was um, shopping than ever before it is rather than because you know everybody's suffered through the plan scamdemic and you would think that they wouldn't be buying anything they're buying more than ever and that's what it says matthew 24 as in the days of noah they will be eating and drinking until the flood came and this time it's going to be a fire there will be tsunamis there will be flooding there will be earthquake earthquakes in diverse places and all that but y'all get my drift we're in the days of Noah. Then I was led to this. Noah. N-O-A-A. -A. Okay, Noah in the Bible is spelled N-O-A-H, right? But I think that Noah was actually N-O-A is how he spelled his name. And then they put an H on the end. Just to confuse. But Noah, H-O-A-A, -A, is actually... I think it's actually in Colorado. It might even be in Denver. It's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Yeah, Noah's Ark. What does the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration do? They have a direct line to all energy companies. And in case of a geomagnetic eruption, they initiate a hotline call with the entire grid. I wrote this down about three hours before this motel had this power outage and only in this one tiny little area. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's just this motel because y'all saw again the street light out. It's, it's amazing. Okay, also they watch for um, coronal mass injections. Coronal. What does that remind you of? My Sharona. The My Sharona. Corona. Get it? Yeah. Um, the coronal mass injections are solar storms, sunspots that are blasting particles into space. And Noah is in charge of it and can shut down all the energy companies. I wrote that down and three hours later, I don't have power. I find that very funny. I also was led to, uh, I did watch this video today. It was on a channel that I have not subscribed to, nor have I ever watched it before. I knew the Lord's voice and I knew he wanted me to watch it. It's called Politico. P-O-L-I-T-I-C-O. -I -I Politico. And it was titled, y'all need to watch this if you're targeted if you're one of God's chosen, it's titled what you need to know about directed energy attacks. I'm not even kidding. And now the power's out and the symptoms they gave were some of some of the symptoms that happened to me last week on Friday. So last Friday, so it's only been five days. 
six days, whatever, um, where I passed out, fainted on the sidewalk in downtown and no one helped. And then when I came to, I got sick to my stomach and got sick on the sidewalk and my hands and my feet went numb. I had got real dizzy. My heart started palpitating. I was uh, extremely sweating. Then I got a major headache and I was like, oh, this, this is a heat stroke or heat exhaustion. But it also has many of the same symptoms as a directed energy attack. Well, guess what y'all today? I had to go back to the same area because that's where the grocery was in the downtown area or the closest grocery. And again, I'm on foot, right? And uh, it happened again when I was leaving, but this time it wasn't as bad. I was I went real slow and I made sure to keep stopping and drinking water. I am used to biking and walking. I've been doing it for 11 years. I haven't been driving in 11 years thanks to corrupt cops that set me up. Uh, but anyway, um, and so I'm very used to being in the heat and being outside and being active. And I waited till later in the day this time because the other time it was 1.30 in the afternoon because I had to. I had nowhere to go um, in between hotel rooms. And uh, this time I waited till, I don't know, it was about 4.30. And right in the same area, I started getting the same symptoms. And I'm starting to be led to think that it was actually one of them, the directed energy attacks. Okay, we've got people outside screaming. Okay. Hear them? All right. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I got off track, y'all. I've got some weird stuff going on here. Who knows what these people are plotting? These, uh, well, if they're actually people. I don't even think these things are human. They're standing outside my window yelling right now. So we'll see. But anyway, um, hopefully I can upload this tonight. Now it's 10 o'clock and the power's still out. And there's no reason for it to be out. This is part of fallen angel tactics. Hopefully y'all can, can y'all see this? I'm just documenting. 10 o'clock. Exactly. Hold on y'all. Okay, now I hear police sirens will probably be some excuse to come invade the rooms. <laughs> I'm not kidding, y'all. It's just so crazy. Okay, I love y'all. Um, hopefully this gets up tonight. Hopefully the power's not off all night. No soup for me. No sleep for me. No soup for me. Here, I'll, I'll just go ahead and record this so y'all can hear. See what I mean? They got two doors like waiting right by. See, right by my window. This is what they do. The street lights on. I wonder what happened. You got a targeted individual, I mean empowered individual in the house. Not joking. Jesus Christ is coming back. I hope people repent. There's not much time left. It's, it's really not a joke. There's going to be rolling blackouts and then blackouts everywhere. In every city, not just here. Did you see them all standing outside? There's no one, uh, there's no one on the other. 
there's four floors. There's no one standing on any of the floors except my floor, the second floor. There's no one on the ground. They're all standing in front of my room on all sides. So this is what they do. Anyway, I love y'all. Praise prayers for everybody. And please pray for me and my little baby because they, they, they're not stopping with us. Okay, bye-bye. Love y'all.